Are you ready? I'm ready. Do we take a shot to begin? Yes. Do you think that this is a shot? I want no, to see but it's anyone. Anyway, are you yeah. seeing this, guys? Is that a shot for ants? That is not even. Hi guys, what's up? It's Kinsey. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm joined here with my little sister Maddie. She's in a lot of vlogs. She's starting her own YouTube channel, and the only way that I could get her to start a YouTube channel is if I promised to film a truth or drink video with her. <laughs> so we have mixed <laughs> shot um costume me goes. Yeah. I'm like actually nervous. I don't know why. I know this is nerve wracking. I think it's because they're all. Okay, so we here. have a host. I think this one. Okay, Preston, are you ready for your cameo? <laughs> Yeah. I don't, let's say that you're, uh, you're like squad. Do you have a squad? I heard you. Uh, I don't have. I don't have a squad. No. no. Can you deal with it. I love you so much. Podcast. Iliasm baby. Iliasm baby. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Um, subscribe to Maddie's channel. Let's try to get her to 2,000 subscribers with her first video. You can link it right there, right? That's on the screen. You don't understand how YouTube works. But it's fine. <laughs> we have these questions that you guys gave us. I'm actually like nervous. I don't know why. Take a shot. Okay. Oh, we're also gonna be getting ready. Oh, I was thinking I was just gonna copy your makeup look tonight, by the way. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Can you get started so I can follow you? What are we oh. using tonight, girl? So, I usually start with my foundation since my, this, <laughs> and it's two different colors right now. <laughs> I feel like we all Maddie noticed that already. Here, as we're filming and get ready with me, face makeup fully done. She was an hour and a half late to our plans. Early. I had work. I literally, Whatever. I have a job. I like to use the Laura Mercier um, Flawless Perfecting foundation. <laughs> I'm really mad that we don't have those cute little like. I, I have them. I have them, but I don't know how they are. Looks so much better when uh, you know we slap oh some color God. on my face. I'm using the Sephora Best Get Ever Foundation. It's my favorite foundation. I love that foundation, but I have I use Huda, Laura Mercier, and, and the Sephora one. All right, let's start this one off hot. All right, guys. So rank each other's boyfriends no. least to best. First question. <laughs> Obviously, best one. First boyfriend. Obviously. Oh, love right. him. Talked to him yesterday. I hope he's doing great, honestly. <laughs> Can you tell me who you count? Just give me a list of names. I, I will say it's very hard to find my fave out of that list. A lot of things that I'm taking into consideration, keep in mind there's not one that I'm like, yeah. 2019 would be my top. Don't get too ahead of yourself, you know? 2019? Um, okay, wait, who else? Car, least favorite. High school, second least favorite. Car? Um, <laughs> Lake House. Third least favorite. Okay. 2019 top fave. And like that's not really Okay, so I'm gonna say um hometown favorite. Um 937 miles. For all of you guys who know. If you know, you know. Um you I liked him. Um there is another one. I like I feel like she knows what I'm talking about. He lived in LA. Mm. I liked him solely for my own benefits. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never posted. And then um, college, not three. my fave. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your fave? Give me your top two. two. The other, you know, recently I was texting Sav and I was like, this person's like had a lot of girlfriend zones. That <laughs> goes, I think you guys are like even. <laughs> I just saw this thing on TikTok where if you put concealer here, here, and here, it like opens your face up. We'll see if it works. Two, I don't have a top two. I barely have a top one. For yeah. me, yeah. I have two favorites. First, um, and you last. know who you are. Yeah, the first, first and last ones are my favorites for sure. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> How? <laughs> I don't know. We're ready for the next, so sorry. Can I use your shape tape? Have you guys ever uh, drunk test, drunk texted an ex? No. <laughs> you are no half, oh my god. I actually haven't. Just, Maddie, well, I have to drink. Drink. you deserve a drink for that one. Maddie I do deserve a drink for that one. It's just an L for the rest of your Maddie. life. I mean, actually, today was the first time we fought in like months. Yeah. And crazy. I wouldn't say fight, you were just being rude to everyone. Yeah. Okay, next mean. question. Uh, this question is directed to you. So, me? Kenzie is fun to go out with, but doesn't stay out past 12. Couldn't be more false. A false. Yeah. Like, maybe like a year ago, I could have agreed. What's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a really what? light one. I told you. I mean, but you're darker than me. Look at my eyes. I know. I Guys, it's not as crazy as it looks like you end up. It's not like as big of a deal. It's still All right. so light. Um, no, she's pretty chill. Have you two ever fist fought? Yes. 
Okay. Our child. Okay. I know, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And I went back for more. We can do another one. Don't worry. Okay, I was kind of hoping for details on that one. We'll get there. Yeah. It's our worst fight ever. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Craziest story. Oh my God, I don't know. I have so many stories. One time I got in a car wreck and I almost died. I've told this in a podcast before. Um, it's the one with Nick Lopez. I feel like I, I go to the story when I'm when people ask this because it's like a more of like a family friendly story, but. I ended up accidentally leaving a party in LA and going home with one of my ex-boyfriend's best friends with like a bunch of people. Like we were going to like an after party of this apartment and it was my other ex-boyfriend's apartment. And so, and he walks out, I find this out cause it's like 4 AM. He walks out of a bedroom and we're sitting there and I'm like, wait, what? And he's like, what? And then they all are like, wait a second, you're Ken's and they put it together. Do you see what I'm saying? So like that was really, really really wild time because like I don't know if you know this but there are millions of people in Los Angeles so please explain to me how this ended up happening. Yeah, I was honestly for those of you guys that didn't see the 937 mm -hmm. miles video, there is an illegal oh, link if you look it up on Safari. I'm listening. I there's find so many it. references to that right now. Why? Like it's literally. It's my, I cried. <laughs> yeah. I did way back in the day. Yeah. It was a really good video but I'm I'm upset that he took it down. Shots. I literally just. Took it. Has anyone ever written a song about either of you? Yes, both of us <laughs> thought about that today. That's a good one. Ah, what you're are you doing You're not gonna tell us what song? No. Or Mine's like some dumb SoundCloud one from this kid that I hadn't talked to in like two years who like apparently hated me. I didn't find out until like five years later. Right, so on a more positive note, what is y'all's favorite quality about each other? Ugh. Can we do favorite and least favorite? Because I have my least favorite, I thought about it earlier. My least favorite quality about you is that when you're having a bad day, you make everyone else have a horrible day. Like, everyone's <laughs> moods are ruined. Like, you can't hang. It's so awful. No, it's just that when I'm having a bad day and I'm hungry, don't talk to me until I've eaten. Yeah, but, like, you should be able to just be nice about that. It was a long day. My favorite quality about you... But there's just like so many, I'm like trying to think. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you're very, you're fun. You're very fun. Like nothing's that serious. You know what? I love that. I love that compliment. Why so much? I just like, there's so many things I'm like, I'm looking at a blink. Cause like, you know, when everything happens at once and it's a lot. You're just, you're very kind. You're a good listener. You're not a good listener. Yeah, I am. Well, when I talk, <laughs> you're not. Cause most of what you have to say is like, Redundant. Like there's no But point. if, if like, she really if I need to listen and like I really like you know she's a good listener. Good it's sister. Like such a sister. Okay. She's very caring. Very caring. Have you ever had a crush on the other sister's close friend? I haven't, but you have. <laughs> yeah, you oh. have. You have! Who? Wait, you okay. have oh Okay, but that wasn't a crush because like when I think of a crush, I think of like someone I didn't date. But yeah, I love him. Yeah, so, exactly. It was you. Exactly. 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 I don't even have to ask who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm gonna text him. Hourglass bronzer, it's my fave. Alright, Maddie, so is Kinsey a lightweight? She's really not because she doesn't really drink that much to like get to that level. Um I've never been a lightweight. She's good at taking shots, I will say. Like, thank she's you. pretty good at it. Thank you, thank you. I think, think her mom, mom. I think her mom. <laughs> that. Honestly, I well, like that traits from dad though. Shot. Yeah, you deserve a shot for that. <sighs> okay, now we're tied. I'm still like, I don't know why I'm like nervous. Yeah, yeah. Kendall and Kylie were hammered by the end of their video. That's my goal. Okay, I'm not trying to be hammered by the end of the video. Kenzie, have you ever hated any of Maddie's friends? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I actually, <laughs> and no, I do feel bad about this now. Yeah, I know. A little bit. Not bad enough to where I would take it back. But there, okay, like here's the thing about me. I like everyone in the world until it comes to my siblings. Mainly just you. And I think it's just because I'm protective. Yeah. And there's some other reasons. And then I'm like, nope. But if like they weren't friends with you, I would like them. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's true. Sav, true? Thank you. Thank you. Hey Trevor, army crawl next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenzie, so low-key, right? Do you ever find any of the Facebook group comments like rude or disrespectful? Absolutely, yes. I agree. There, yeah. there's. I've seen a couple things where I posted an Instagram. Let me tell you this. I posted on an Instagram story not that recently. This one I didn't find like rude or disrespectful, but this is just like how <laughs> things get. I, posted, I know what you're talking about. I posted an Instagram story. I was sitting here. I was like drinking my morning coffee. I was making my Starbucks in the morning, right? And there was like someone that I had FaceTimed on my laptop, you know? And 
the I posted it to my story and I'm already like pretty aware like I'm pretty careful like if, so, if I, you can tell someone's there like I'm already whatever and they screenshot it and it was like all over the Facebook group and that's I guess that I find rude or disrespectful what I find rude or disrespectful is when people like try to argue like certain things in the Facebook group whatever one time I was 15 years old and her subscriber literally like bullied me on Twitter she like Twitter fought me and then they hacked into my Instagram so I had to create a new Instagram yeah. like she was so mean to me well it's also like why would you try to fight my sister I don't know okay. hourglass blush Wait, what? question question from the host. Mm -hmm. Do you ever comment back or like have you gotten into beef like an argument not on really. Facebook? Um not no not really. She refuses. I'm not really like that type. I'm not really defensive. And when my friends get defensive of me, it stresses me out worse. Like it makes me like really stressed out when they're like, Did you see this? I'm like, okay, like obviously I I'm like trying to ignore that they just like coming from my entire life, you know what I mean? Y'all, this brow freeze by Anastasia. <laughs> Amazing. He keeps talking about that. Can you do my brows with it? Shit, Does Maddie it. like your friends? Now, Kenzie, what do you think? And then let's hear what Maddie has to say. Yeah, I mean, we also have a lot of. Um... I was like so scared right now. Um, I feel like you like my friends. Who would you not like of my friends? For the most part, we have a lot of the same friends too. I just like won't come over if I don't like them, so we're good. But like, that's never. I feel like it's pretty rare for Maddie to not like my friends. Yeah, I'm not really judgmental. Oh my god, no, that's that's actually not it. I wouldn't say the reason yeah, I have the friends is because I'm Take a shot friend. for that lie. Yeah. Also, she is way worse with people than I am. I like everyone. You don't. Exactly, Maddie. If you could mute one person in the family for the day, mute. who would... Yeah, mute. We're going to have to take a who shot Who would it be? Then. I need a hairbrush. Yeah. How did wait, Maddie wait, break wait, her... Wait. Oh. 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 I did yeah, you're ready for a monologue? Wait, how did Maddie what? <laughs> how did Maddie break her femur? It's on TikTok a few times. It's on that's TikTok if you'd like to see. That's why I put it in there because you did put it on um, TikTok. Not putting that in. I'm literally not putting that in. <laughs> I was in a car accident. If you guys really want to know what happened, um, go to my TikTok and comment on my TikToks and I'll do like a whole TikTok on it. I mean, that was a... That is like, like way too much time in my life. A businesswoman. It is taking up way too much time in my life. Yeah, I'm like physical therapy three times a week. So. All right, so we're circling back around. So why did you guys fight? I, I feel like that we shouldn't get into that. No. I've been asked twice. I'm going to answer it. I think that when we were younger, I'm going to credit a lot of it to our parents' divorce. Yeah. I'm just going to place the blame elsewhere. 100%. But I'm going to start there. <laughs> Second, <laughs> I'm also going to say... I think because of that, it, it created more divide because our it was like a bad divorce. Then, also like you would live at mom's while I lived at dad's, and yeah. I lived at dad's while you lived at mom's. And like we just sort of like two, like it's not like we're separate people. Like we have a lot of like we're just opposite personalities though. Mm. Like I'm fun. No, I'm I'm also fun. I'm <laughs> just fun. I'm kidding. But like, yeah. how do I say? You this? just like were way more wild, and I was working. Mm -hmm. And then you would cause a lot of problems in the family because of that, and then it would make me annoyed. And then I was too protective of you. Yeah, well, sure, we can go with that. Yeah, that's probably what happened. And it was a different, it was a different time. But now we're like besties, so we do everything together, right, Maddie? Stop! Oh my god, she's so rude. Maddie posted this Instagram story about how she's so happy in life and like who's in it and blah blah blah. And like, that was obviously she's so about me. three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, so following that, what are some of the nicest things that you've done for each other? Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so one time it was Kenzie's birthday. No, <laughs> I know. And I really wanted to watch, it was make it or break it. No, it wasn't make it or break it. It was stick wrap it. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Hurry it was up. stick it. Okay. Long story short, my grandpa took me to the store to get Kenzie's birthday present and I really wanted to watch the movie Stick It. So I picked out the movie and my grandpa said, Maddie, are you sure she wants to watch this? I was the cheerleader, so he obviously knew. And so we get home that night, we wrap it, and she opens the present. And she was like, she looked at me, she was like, are you kidding me? And I grabbed it and I went up to the meeting room and I watched it. And I feel like that was like a really good birthday present. Like that was really thoughtful. So she bought herself a gift for my birthday. Yeah. The nicest thing that I've recently done for you, we paid for the boot to get off your car. Yeah. It's typically like a financial thing, I'm saying. Like it's something like stupid. Yeah. Pay your parking meters, y'all. Yeah. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see the rest of it, head over to Maddie's YouTube channel. I will link it below. Mine will be way more interesting. Thank you so much to our host, Preston. Very grateful. I feel um, like we should. 
like do a cameo Sean again. It's Preston. So happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. You're amazing host. <laughs> Vanessa, the voice behind the camera, your boy. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna head over to Maddie's channel. Um, love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Well, let's talk about that because here's the thing about over delivering, you know, usually, and you're, you're one of them, honestly, you know, Kenzie, it's like, we are highly capable women, like can get things done, but what you're lacking, if you're over delivering and over functioning sort of indiscriminately, what is lacking is the discernment of who is in your VIP section of your life, because I want you to think about your VIP section, as the people who there's mutuality, right? They, they go the extra mile for you too. So there should be an expectation that there's mutuality in your friendships and in your love relationships and in some family relationships and maybe not family. It depends on your family and how close you are and whatever, because there's nothing wrong, right? With being, giving things 110%.